All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you in PDF Exchange how to get the signature in this uh, in this stamps tool here. So by default, it comes with these stamps that you can put on documents, for example, draft. There you go. But to add a signature, and I like I said in the first video, I do this just to sign simple docs. Someone just needs a signature on real quick. It's almost it's faster than for me to print it out, sign it, and send it back. I just kind of pop my signature and then scan it and send it. So to You'll see uh, when you click that uh, arrow here, your stamps palette. So show stamps palette is what you want to do. So you want to get your the signatures that you need here. Um, and so you want to get it from image. That means it's something that you have saved on your desktop. Now the easiest way to create your signature, go to a website like for example, onlinesignaturecreator.com. Uh, I just Googled and found this real quick because it's pretty easy. So I'm here on this website. I'm gonna make one. So I'm literally just using my mouse uh, you probably want to practice and do a better job. That's my beautiful signature. I'm going to save it. So, uh, Brooks Sig, let's just call it that. Uh, so, set so to PNG file. So, what you want to do is go back over to where you were here, get it from image. Should be on my desktop as Brooks Sig. There it is. There it is. So now it's in this palette here, so I want to select it. Boom. There's my signature, and I can resize it here. But now I've just put my signature on this document here. And uh, again, I can go and print it. I want to go print it to PDF so that I, in essence, seal that signature on there. I use Primo PDF. I'll go ahead and go through this process again. Create a PDF. Here it is on the desktop. So I'd already saved the file with that name, but that's okay. I overwrote it. And here it is. So now I've signed this document just so I can zip it to someone and say, hey, yep, I've rev reviewed this. Here's my signature. So that's it.